And today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the TuneUp application that works hand in hand with iTunes to restore your metadata. Now, a, a quick disclaimer to start off with: you may you may even see on this page advertisements for the TuneUp software. That is purely coincidental, and this video itself is not directly a paid advertisement for TuneUp. However, it is. A, a piece of software that I've recently started using with my iTunes library. I found it incredibly useful, so I thought I'd share, share that with you guys. So just to get that out of the way. Uh, um, a lot of you guys may have misplaced songs in your iTunes library. I know I do. And you, you just can't find the metadata for them because it either got lost or you didn't have it originally. That can be a real headache, and I was searching around for um, applications to find my metadata automatically because I didn't want to have to manually enter it. And sure up was the easily the best, um, the best option out there. So today I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration. What well, what well, it works with iTunes, and basically when you open up iTunes. It, it also opens up tune up and this is one of the things I don't I don't like about it. it the tune up window travels around with your iTunes window if you see there. I I I don't like the UI for this at all, personally. But it's very good at its job. What it does is it sends your music up to a server and di and digi digi digitally listens to it and sees what um sees what is the best match that it has found for that music track. Now, occasionally, it either does doesn't find it or, or gets it very wrong. So, just to give you a demonstration, I, I'm going to drag on and before I do that, I should also note that your first um, your first 100 uh, track finds are free, and then you've got to uh, buy buy the premium version of the application, um, and it also allows you to recover cover art, which can be very useful. So I'm going to drag on this song that I know is from the Beatles called Lady Madonna, and I just drag it on. And it says, please wait until until tune up is finished processing um, before dragging new tracks on. So I'm just going to hit OK. And as you see, it can take a little while for this to uh, work, but once you click on the area, it does, in fact, do a good job. So, um, if I drag on here, Hero, for example, the song by Mariah Carey, it's going to upload the um, uh, upload the file, and it um, this. Particular song is a version of Hero by Julian Iglesias, and it um, finds the album, the date, and all, all the album might you can need. Um, and you can just confirm it right from in there by clicking the save button. It then sends it to iTunes. Um, let me show you one that I know for a fact doesn't work, just to show you. Um, Well, <laughs> that worked, but if you if you don't find um, a, a song that you want to use and um, uh, or album art that you want to use, sorry, it will just um, stay there for ages and then and then carry on trying to look like it's loading it, which isn't very good. So 
the the um the the basic summarization for this is that I don't like the UI of it, but it is effective at doing what it says. So just save all of those things. Can I save them individually or I can just hit save all and it will just send them to iTunes. You can see my my um uh, unrecognized track list here going down as it as it but you can also see I've got a uh, twenty five cover art opportunities and that works in much the same way. Um uh, I'm not sure how much the upgrade pricing is for this, but you can certainly ch check that on the TuneUp website. So, this is my review of TuneUp. What do you think of it? What What do you use to recover your iTunes metadata? Or are you so organized that you don't need to? I'm just interested to kind of hear what you guys have to say. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. And once again, this wasn't directly a paid uh, advertising advertising placement tune up. It's just a piece of software that I use, although I do highly recommend it. So uh, um, th that's what I think of it. What do you think of it? Again, I'm kind of interested to hear what you guys have to say. Be sure to check out my channel for more technical videos. Um, go to my to my website. Tom Rogers.com, that's Tom Rogers.com for more tech news. And thank you. Be sure to see see you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.